to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine and today I'm gonna show you a tool I use to read faster. A problem of many students of English is that they feel they read too slowly and that can be improved. What we do here is exercise our brain so it reads faster and so easy. I have to warn you though, you need to find a way to like repetition because this is about repetition. Well, really, you can approach it however you want, but I'm guessing that your ultimate goal is to understand what you're reading. The idea is that you read fast and that you understand what you're reading. So regardless of your speed, you need to understand the text. So this is an exercise of speed. It's not a grammar exercise, it's not a vocabulary exercise, it's not a pronunciation exercise. Because when we read, sometimes our reading becomes slower than it should be, or slower than it is, because we stop for things that we shouldn't. For example, we stop and we repeat a word that we don't know how to pronounce. And that's not the point of reading, to pronounce a word. The point is to read. Maybe to understand everything, but not just to know the pronunciation of that particular word, or maybe the the point of that particular grammar that was used, or the meaning of one particular word that you didn't understand. If you stop for it, uh, that'll make your reading slow, slower. Of course, if you don't understand 50% of the grammar, 80% of the vocabulary, and 30% of the pronunciation of a text, then the text is way too high for you. That's why you need to first focus on the level you have. At the level you are, you will improve the speed of your reading. And then it will increase as you increase your level of English. A few videos ago, I show you a great app, Read Theory, and then on my Facebook, I also, I also posted uh, some links to readings according to your level. I also have posts of how to find your English level and how to find your reading level. <laughs> so you know your level, you know what kind of readings to read. And once you have that text that is according to your level, then you will go to this great page. It's called Spreader. Well, let's go there and I'll show you. Okay, so here we have the page. You can just Google Spreader and you will see uh, that uh, you have here uh, also a paid version, but we're going to use the free one. And it says paste the text you like to speed read here. And it gives you a text where it explains in general some things about speed reading. In this case, we're not going to use this. Uh, so uh, we can erase it. I'm going to write a short text, type a short text. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you. Okay, so what we do is uh, click on Spread, and here we have some options. As you can see here, well, right now it's the settings that I previously used, and you can change the words per minute that the normal speed is like 200 um, but you can put just the, the, the speed you want to, to use. In this case, we are going to put 500 words per minute, which is fast. You can change the size of the window here. Let's put it big. The chunk size means the number of words that you will read at a time. The uh, font size, the color of the, of the font, the background color, we'll put some nice colors here, and the alignment, I've never used another, let's try justify just for a change. Oh, center. Okay, so 
Maybe this is a little too big. I'll make it smaller so it's easy to adjust. Okay. And we play it and it will you will see the, the letters one by one at 500 words per minute, which was very fast. <laughs> so we can change the settings <laughs> to 200 words per minute, for example, which is a normal speed. And we will uh, read it again. And you see that it's a readable speed. But the idea is that you use a speed that is faster than the one you read and then you switch back and forth. Okay, in the settings, uh, we can also, we're going to, we can change the chunk of words because we don't usually read word by word, but maybe two or three words at a time. So you'll see that it's different. It has some differences and you can play with this so the idea is that you feel comfortable with what you're reading and a little uncomfortable when you are when you are going <laughs> to a higher speed okay so let's use a, a longer text i'm gonna get it here from a web page in which sometimes i write really i just arrive at this is like the first post i wrote let's copy it and paste it and put some new settings so again you go spread and you put this first you will see the settings that you had there previously and you put the sentence settings you want for example we're going to put a lower speed a smaller window three words per time let's put some nicer girly colors and let's try justify this time justify is weird okay but let's read it so you see here we can see three words at a time at a slow speed Or maybe this is fast for you and that's okay the idea is that you play with the speed and it is also explained uh, in the text that you see first when you enter to the page um, for example you can read it slowly and then you can switch to the double you're just reading the same but you already have an idea so you will get some things this is a 300 words per minute, for example. This is one that is comfortable for me, for example. So I usually, when I want to read fast, it's like 400, 500, or even 600. But just to get the general idea, not to analyze anything. That's not the purpose. Okay. So what you do is you you f first find your what's your speed, then you go to a higher speed and then uh, put it down a little. So at least you need to read the same three times or as many times as you want. But then you will see that if you go back to the first the first rate, the first speed, it will seem too slow. There are two great things about this page. First that it helps you focus. Second, I forgot. Okay, I hope you like this and please share, subscribe and everything and I hope to see you soon.